Hello, my name is Yogini Rasa and I'm certified open yoga teacher. And uh, today we will talk about the ultimate relaxation or the kind of yoga that is called Nitra Yoga. Mm, sometimes they call it dream yoga, but this would be um, yes and no. Uh, let's keep to the ultimate relaxation and with the site yogaopenyoga.com where you can find all the information about the yoga studies and study yoga uh, with us. So, um, we spend some time for sleep, every one of us, and sometimes people say that uh, yogis sleep very little or well, almost none actually that's not that like it is there can be some practices for the decreased amount of sleep however um, if it's done unprofessionally or too much uh, they brings uh, many problems because people need this condition when they are relaxed and ultimately relaxed for a specific period of time because during the day there are many uh, things happening and a lot of things are not happening the ones that are happening only when people are asleep thereby what we learn in the nidra yoga we learn to sleep actually in sleep we differentiate uh, two conditions when we are asleep uh, but without dreams and when there are dreams mm, and there is this transitional uh, period when we um, are not awake and um, when we are still aware that we are asleep. Um, it is very interesting kind of yoga and uh, the question comes can you manage the process of sleep? Uh, very difficult um, because it's requiring a lot of energy as we say prana because it requires also the consciousness. When there is energy, there is consciousness, and when there is consciousness, there is energy. Uh, how do we get uh, this energy was the basic kinds of yoga. Uh, was the static exercises, dynamic exercises, working with our voice and working with the breathing, as well as the meditation and concentrating our uh, consciousness on the specific things and for example was this we work with the sleep and it is also yoga uh, all the life processes can be turned into yoga and sleep among them um, it is very safe kind of yoga however very difficult one because it's difficult to become uh, to be aware that you are in a sleeping condition you sometimes uh, are able to remember the dreams sometimes you are only able to remember how you felt after you were uh, sleeping uh, sometimes you don't remember anything even though you might feel a, a little bit or a lot of more tired than before you went to sleep and you need this this base the foundation for the kinds of yoga um, Yes, so you have to learn to differentiate when you are asleep and when you are not asleep and you kind of have to control this process. Uh, working with the, the energy and prana that you uh, learn to, to have uh, in the different kinds of yoga. Um, if you learn to find uh, the state uh, of the ultimate relaxation, you are the champion because uh, it is a great um, kind of injection uh, against uh, the stress we have in our everyday life routine. Of course, if you are a yogi sitting in a cave that most of us are not, uh, then maybe it's not that essential, but a uh, yogi should be aware of anything that's happening in their life, including the sleep. So the test is waiting for you on the site yogaopenyoga.com and you are meeting with me, Yogini Rasa, uh, very soon again on the next kind of yoga. See ya!